Hi, I'm Ashley. I do the Teach English to Monks and Teach English in Schools in Nepal through the Global Work and Travel Co. Um, when I came out of the airport, it was it was a really big culture shock. Um, there were a lot of people um, outside of the airport, a lot of Nepalese people taking your bags. You didn't really know who was who, so it was really good to have um, one of the global representatives there um, with a global sign directing me to where I needed to go. Um, he took my bags, took them to the car, we got in the car, we left. So that was a big relief because if I didn't have that sort of assistance at the airport, then I would have just totally broke down because there was just so many people there. It was just crazy. Um, once we got to the hotel, I put my bags away, settled in and ventured out of the hotel to explore the city of Tarmel a little bit more. Um, once I got out, all I could hear was just Buddhist songs, chiming, bells, it was just beautiful. It was music everywhere, lots of hustle and bustle. Um, I sort of expected it to be like a third world country but the city of Tarmel itself is very touristy and safe area so walking around there I, I just loved it. It was, it was a beautiful sort of place to walk through. The people in Nepal are just really really kind I guess um, so that was a really amazing experience for me first off in my first couple of hours in Nepal. My main daily tasks were basically just to teach English um, to the monks there who were aged between um, 3 and 15. Um, I felt really really good. It was good seeing the kids learning a lot from having someone that's fluent in English. Um, I could see that they benefited a lot, how to pronounce words properly um, and it was just a really enjoyable experience. Something I really enjoyed um, in my time in Nepal was all the festivals that they have. Um, I went there through from February through to April. Um, within that time I got to experience Buddha's birthday, um, the Holi festival, the festival of colours, um, Shiva's birthday which is one of their Hindu gods. Um, so all of those experiences were absolutely amazing and I highly recommend that if you are travelling to Nepal that you get right into their um, cultural and religious experiences because it's really something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. I'll definitely recommend this program to anyone, um, really. It was Nepal in a whole is an amazing, beautiful country. The people are absolutely beautiful, kind-hearted people and teaching in schools, whether you're teaching in an orphanage, um, teaching in the monastery, this is really good um, to give that assistance to people who don't really have access to that sort of help, really, at the end of the day, so I'd recommend it to anyone.